Ho, 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 it's me again, and I'm back to show you another craft that we are doing at the Germantown Public Library here in Ohio. Um, this week, we are going to make cinnamon ornaments. These ornaments have been embellished with cloth and with glitter, but in your packet, I'm going to send you, um, you're gonna have applesauce and cinnamon. It's as simple as that to make these. And I also put some little ribbons in the bag and um, some other little goodies that you can use uh, as well as a cookie cutter to take home to make your own ornaments. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. It's very simple and shouldn't take very much time. It is messy. So make sure you have a workspace that's uh, kind of covered up because you're gonna get cinnamon on everything. Um, these are the ornaments. This is what it'll look like without anything on it. They're just little cinnamon ornaments. They smell great. They look great on your tree. And the cinnamon smell lasts for years. I've made these over the years and they last for several years, as long as you wrap them well and put them in a dry place during the year. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is you need a bowl. I've already experimented once with this today to make sure it works. You're gonna take Everybody is getting um, one of these little half, it's half a cup of cinnamon. You're gonna dump that in. You might wanna save enough, just a handful, to put on some wax paper at home because you're gonna roll out the dough and you want enough, wa enough cinnamon on the wax paper so that the um, dough does not stick. Uh, the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up an applesauce. Every bag has an applesauce. Dump it in with the cinnamon. Try and get it all out. And then we're going to stir. And stir and stir. It's going to look like it's not working, but the more you work it, the more it's going to turn into kind of a blob and you have to play with it and play with it and play with it. And eventually, it's gonna turn into a round crescent of uh, dough, kind of like sugar cookie dough. So just keep playing with it until it gets good and thick. It will take a while and you're gonna start working it with your hands. See how I'm doing this? And eventually, it's going to become a ball. But I've still got a lot here that needs to be worked. It takes, I don't know, three minutes to get it right. You just keep working it. And like I said, it's messy. So make sure you have a good workspace. It's fun too, though if you like messy. And if you come to my arts and crafts programs, you know that I like messy. And like I said, after you work with it, it becomes a big glob of cinnamon, just like that, okay? Then, after you get it to the point that you're happy with the consistency, we wanna take some of that cinnamon that you sprinkled on the paper on the wax paper or parchment, I think you can use either. And you wanna kind of coat it so that when we roll it out, it doesn't stick on the top. And we're gonna roll. You should be able to make, with the amount that I gave you, probably I'm thinking maybe three, two or three ornaments, maybe a little more, and all we need now is a cookie cutter. We're going to press it down all the way, kind of wiggle it just a little to make sure that it's separated from the rest of the, um, the dough. And then I've also got a candy cane here. Gonna wiggle it. 
and one more. I could probably make, I could probably make um, four out of this if I really worked at it. Simple as that. Now, you can bake this in an oven for two and a half hours at um, 200 degrees, and I am going to send home uh, instructions for everybody. Um, but you can also leave it sit for about three days and it will dry on its own. Now, once you get these um, ornaments made like this, once they're rolled out, you also want to take a stick and you're going to poke a hole in one place. Now this one I tore, but you want to poke a hole so that um, when it dries, we can put string through it or a uh, ribbon through it to make it into an ornament like this little snowman. Okay. All right. I hope you have fun with it. It is messy and it is fun. Um, and make sure you work that dough because if you don't work it enough, it'll stick just like I showed you a minute ago. Um, happy holidays and I'll see you next week with, with another um, craft idea. Next week's is a little more in depth, but I think you will really have fun with it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.